Evening Times says LPG cracks LGS, I beg your pardon, cracks down on MMDA's RCCs for financial infractions captured in Auditor General's report. 18 fishermen arrested for illegal fishing granted bail. They've joined ex servicemen security agencies to mark Remembrance Day. And we have turned around Ghana's economy in the right direction. The Finder newspaper, China, releases funding for the first phase of the Sino Hydro projects. Dr. Baumia says so uh, in a meeting, a hearty handshake as well. Sikano Abba. Palime, Paramount Chief, appears to government to address developmental challenges. Minority discredits government's claim on transforming the economy and retain Akufuado, who has outperformed Mahama in just three years. Nana B is the organizer of the NPP Daily Guide. Um, coup plotters bought guns firing at Teshi Range. Sino Hydro Phase 2 to take off. Snit educates workers on indexation and Mahama can't use Ghana for experiment. Nana B, the daily graphic. My clients were entrapped, lawyer for alleged coup plotters. SEC asked to provide clarity on collapsed investment firms. Snit uh, China releases funds for Sino Hydro project. That's a, uh, the first tranche, by the way. Snit accused of foot dragging. Forum asked ministers' intervention in past credit. And finally, the BNFT stock exchange to rebound amid election pressures and um, to use tax incentives to instigate more CSR. Dr. Heyman Edu is advising an AGI partners, Guta, to boost local production uh, and reduce imports. Good morning to you, Mr. Kwakupom of the AGI. It was fun meeting you last uh, Sunday. Now, let, gentlemen, my guest this morning is the Honorable Alassane Suhin is the Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency and also the Honorable Andrew Ejapa Mesa who is also a lawyer and a Member of Parliament for the Second D constituency. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you Thank doing? You. Oh boy, it's been a while. Thank you. Yes. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yes, I haven't been here in a while. Where have you been hiding? Well, uh, I guess that uh, other equally important assignments mm. take me somewhere else. But uh, I've not been quiet on the space at all. I see. And it was fascinating, fascinating your spirited articulation for the new vote. <laughs> when we'll, I, I we'll, entered we'll talk the about we'll talk about that <laughs> shortly, briefly. Uh, good morning to good our morning. cherished. Uh, I see. Members. Alaji, how are to you? My good friend. I'm Alaji. terrific. How's Alaji. the weekend Thank for you? Thank you very you? much uh, for asking. I hope you uh, are well too. I'm, I'm struggling to be well. Yesterday I was not so well. I'm st I still have uh, a bit of it, but so oh, sorry, right. so sorry. We'll we'll but you have shattered very well. Well, Alhamdulillah. It's a big mass shatter. I don't feel big in any way, though. Anyway, but let me also say good morning to our viewers. Especially the very good people of the Tamale North constituency, okay. and to my brother, uh, Honorable uh, Mesha. I've been coming into his neighborhood and <laughs> don't look for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, I let's. I visit you, but he uh, never stays. Oh, really? <laughs> you, you visit him, yeah. but he the doesn't stay. that when on his way to my house, he saw me leaving. Uh, and so he that's, that, 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 amounts glass to, that amounts to he yeah. visiting me. Yeah. With your glass he has my phone number. I decided to. <laughs> I decided to. I decided to. <laughs> anyway, let's let's start a conversation from the the, the local level elections and the uh, what you call it the referendum that's coming up. And I was uh, postulating that Article Two Four Three, which is before Parliament, is what actually will allow all of us to go and vote for MMDCs if if amended, and it is not a yes vote that will that will allow us to go and vote. Because a yes vote essentially means that we're going to vote on party pol uh, political lines. And no vote will maintain that yes, 243 will be amended, but we will we would have that power and not necessarily give it to the political parties. I don't know what you think. You're a lawyer and a, a legislator as well. What no, do you, you, what do you say? Right. I mean, 55-3 um, is not what um, empowers us as a people mm -hmm. to, as it were, vote for our MMDCEs. Mm -hmm. It is Article 2431 uh, that is before Parliament, which uh, essentially is to the effect that political parties uh, may support candidates mm -hmm. in public elections mm -hmm. other than district assemblies and local government unit elections. Right. As so what it is that we are saying, uh, no, 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 that, that's actually 55. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, 2431 is the appoint the power to appoint, to appoint by yes. the president exactly approved by two-thirds majority a absolutely and then he's so, been able to remove or by a no, vote yeah. of no confidence as well and and so uh, what we're saying is that yes 2431 is not an entrenched provision 
uh, of the constitution and so parliament uh, can uh, amend that but with respect to 55.3 that's an entrenched provision and so um, uh, amending that will require some input from the citizenry right. by way of right. referendum right. but you see um, and again you're right mm. we don't have to necessarily amend 55.3 but we are only being, if you like, hypocritical. How so? Because as we speak, mm -hmm. political party involvement, okay, albeit without the callous, mm -hmm. actively underground, is well documented and known. Right. And I won't sit here and pretend as an angel. I, my, they are people in my constituency who are contesting for assembly elections. Mm. The party is supporting them. Even mine. There was a process for selecting assembly men mm. in all the electoral areas. Right. People were asked to step down for others. Absolutely. All parties do it. Mm. And so I... But should that be the case? You see, that's, that's the, 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 the constitutional architecture that we have. Right. That essentially is not representative of the fact on the ground. Mm. And I do not find anything wrong with political party participation in local level elections. Really? Because in other jurisdictions, even police chiefs, mm. judges, are voted for on party lines. In the United States. Mm. Indeed, right here in Ghana, this is not the first time mm. that we are introducing political party participation at local government elections. It's been with us in the past. Has it helped us? Why hasn't it helped us? Where, where, you, you, see, find, where you find an MP who perhaps is not in the same party with a DC or an MMC appointed by the president. And the MMC says, okay, uh, we're supposed to, we have money to tar the roads here you know, in my district. But because this man belongs to the other party, and the, where he is is a stronghold of the other party, I'll first tar the, 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 the roads in where we consider them as comfortable grounds for us. When we still have some, we'll go and do it happens. It happens. There's some tussle between a DC and an MP who are not within the same how, party. How is that going to change if we vote for MMDCs? Don't make it partisan. Not on party lines. Don't make it partisan. But maintain the status quo relative to the uh, other public elections. Don't make it partisan. But I'm saying that, in fact and indeed, mm. If MMDs are going to be voted tomorrow mm. or in the next election when we amend 2431, political parties consistent with what they do at the assembly level mm -hmm. would sponsor mm -hmm. candidates to contest the MMDC roles. And I'm asking, is it right? It's not right. because the, It's not right because the constitution says mm. that we should not. That is why the government has introduced this referendum to ask the people whether indeed what is actually pertaining on the ground, mm -hmm. albeit unconstitutional, should be formalized. And I think it should. Okay. Because, you see, mm. Ghanaian political parties, at least the strong ones, have mechanisms on the ground that can mobilize people. You mean NDC and MP? Absolutely. Mm. It behoves on the other polit political parties to also work hard and you know. Have we given them the oxygen to, to rise? But who is giving the MPP and the NDC oxygen to rise? You have had a chance in government. What did it take to go into government? The CPP was banned. When? The CPP was banned. We are in, in 1992 the constitutional CPP says because they were banned, they have not been able to really... But all political parties were banned mm. at a point. Mm. In 1981, uh, political activity was completely banned in right. this country. Right, right. But in 1992, when it was lifted, some political parties were able to rise up from the ashes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, it would be useful to have a third force, maybe. But if you have a splinter group within the Nkrumahs, for instance, where you have four or five parties claiming to be Nkrumahs, how do you get them to pose any threat to either NPP or NDC? There's beauty in diversity. Yes, yeah, so let them organize themselves and then uh, post the strong force. Okay.
Thank you. Okay, I so I, I think that mm. voting yes mm. is only going to formalize what it is that we have on the ground already. And I don't find any difficulty with it at all. Which and has not I been helpful to us. How has multi-political partyism not helped us? No, in the matter of local level uh, assembly elections. No, I'm failing to see the proof that you, local you, government elections you, haven't you, helped us. You, you mean to say that, you, that you don't know that... For example, uh, the assemblyman who was voted for because he is NDC, and now there's an MPP MP within the constituency. There's a DC who is MPP, and also a government which is MPP. So he doesn't even get so when he goes to, to when go he goes and do to, the national sanitation day. When he know. goes to, I, I get those stories a lot when, when I go out. When he goes to the assembly, he hasn't got a voice. Well, when they are putting in place the development plan, the budget mm -hmm. for the assembly, he hasn't got an how many are How many are there? I don't know the actual numbers on the ground, but so, I'm saying so, that the architecture as it is, is induced by political players participating. But, but you are a lawyer. And so you are, you are, it, you are a lawyer. I you, are, I, I, you are a lawyer. Like you. you are a legislator. We are breaking the law on the grounds. Do you support that? No, I don't. That's why I support a yes to formalize what is unconstitutionally being done on the ground. Okay, Alaji, take a bite on this one. The issues are clear. Uh, and I'll come back to ask both of you where we are with 243 now in Parliament. But take your bite on this one. You have been through uh, all of it right to the very top. Share with us what it is that you think. Well, um, Tony, I think... Uh, 243 is undergoing a second reading later today. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, but I just want us to look at uh, some of the provisions right. in the Constitution. 242D mm -hmm. um, says, <coughs> um, A digital assembly shall consist of the following members. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe before 243, 242. Let, let's look at 241. 241. 2413. Yeah. That sets up the, the whole thing. Yeah, 2413 uh, says, subject to this constitution, a district assembly shall be the highest political authority mm. in the district and shall have deliberative, legislative, and executive powers. Mm. Now, my emphasis here is political authority. Mm. It's supposed to be the highest political right. authority. Take note of that. Then you look at 242. Uh, 242D uh, mm. says other members not being more than 30% of all that's the district assembly shall consist of the following members mm. other members not being more than 30% uh, of all the members of the district assembly appointed by the president in consultation with the traditional authorities mm. and other interest groups in the district now let's also look at 243 one okay that is the one that is mm -hmm. before us mm -hmm. uh, there shall be a district chief executive for every district who shall be appointed by the president mm -hmm. with a prior approval of not less than two-thirds majority of members of the assembly present and voting at the meeting now my issues are this if you look at 2413 mm -hmm. it says the district assembly is supposed to be the highest political, political authority, authority mm -hmm. in the district now i'm thinking um how is it possible mm -hmm. that we can insulate the highest political authority mm -hmm. from partisan, you know, interest mm -hmm. when political parties are formed to do just that? Political parties are formed mm -hmm. to galvanize people for national elections, mm -hmm. yes. And it is also stated in some aspect mm -hmm. of this law that political okay. parties contest, you know, of national character. Mm -hmm. Now... At the local level, you have an institution that is set up to be the highest political authority. Mm. And yet we think that even though political parties organize at the local level to the national, mm. they can look by, they can stand aloof mm. and not care about the highest political authority is that, at the is, local is that, level. Is that the inference you draw? No, I'm just... Because I'm, just, because I'm sure when Professor Hoy and his, uh, his colleagues were framing this, I'll get they, there. They, they thought about an independent space I'll get that there. will have the gonads of steel yeah. to even tell the government of the day to shush. I'll and, get and one key example is that, look, the district assembly common funds are supposed to come in, in transits every quarter. As we speak, the last two quarters have not come in. And yet we expect 
the people to pay their property rate. We expect them to pay their business operation permit, which will feed into the consolidated fund from where the district assembly common fund will come from. So if the people are fulfilling their obligation to the state, why is the state not returning the favor? It is because there is the politicization of that position. So the DC who is appointed by the president cannot go to the president and say, Mr. President, the common fund is not coming. My people are holding my neck. Why? But if we vote for that person, not on party political lines, the person can then say, Mr. President, give us our money. Don't okay. you think? Okay, so you see, you, are, you have introduced another leg. No, I'm, I'm just of... entrenching my position. <laughs> <laughs> you see, so, you know, people who um, argue the way you argue, mm. also, in my view, lose sight of the fact that um, 2, 4, 3, 1 mm. is not enough. If you do, if you, you know, amend three, 2, 4, 3, 1, mm. and you do not do anything about 2, 4, 2, C, where the president will still have the power mm. to appoint 30% to the district assembly, mm. and the president will have the power. And then there is also, um, 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 what do you call it, the, the, the power of the president to dismiss the right. district chief executive. Right. Mm. If you do not amend that also, mm. and you still allow it in the constitution, and then you amend only 2431, mm. and then the people vote for the DCE, mm. but in the constitution, the president still has the power to fire the DCE. And, and what have you done? There's a second option of the two thirds of the majority in the in the assembly uh, firing. Yes, also. Fire, yes. That by, is what was told. No yes, so I'm saying that. I'm saying that I think the focus of this whole, you know, process is wrong. And I think if perhaps, if perhaps government had taken its time to think about it thoroughly, mm. it would have presented something that would have had the buy-in and support of, you know, uh, many more people. Mm. Because like correctly indicated, mm. I mean, 2431, if repealed or if amended, mm. and you do not take away the power of the president to dismiss mm. the DCEs, mm. then you still have not done much. Right. Again, if you do not amend <laughs> 242D, mm. where uh, 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 the president still has a power to appoint about 30%, mm. really, what have you done, you know, in terms of uh, taking the political, the political influence. influence from the assembly? So, I mean, these are still lingering issues. Mm. That, uh, for me, makes it very difficult to, for one to uh, 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 fully canvas for a yes vote, mm. you know. So to some extent, to some extent, I'm tempted to agree with, you know, the no vote. Mm. But I also do not want to pretend mm. that I do not know what is happening at the local level. Okay. The fact that the local uh, 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 level, the district assembly is supposed to be the highest political body, <laughs> yet we somehow think that mm. we can insulate political parties mm. from interfering in it just by legislation mm. or just by law. And over the period, Johnny, go out there. I mean, my disappointment is that many of the people who have seen everything wrong with the politicization of the district assembly level, you know, uh, uh, governance, mm. if you like, they themselves, over the period, have really not showed enough commitment and interest mm -hmm. in how the local level, you know, uh, governance takes place. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many of the people saying that we should not politicize the local level okay. have actually bothered okay. to either put themselves up for elections or go to their assemblies mm -hmm. to demand, or, I mean, attend assembly meetings, for example, okay. or request their district assemblies to meet with their communities, mm. how many of them? But it is, it was, it was, it was in the thinking of the framers of the constitution mm. that we will have such activist citizens. Right. The activism should not just be, excuse me to say, you know, making name and profit on the back of politicians. But, but, it's, but, as if, but, it's as if, Johnny, it's mm. as if some people have made it a trade, mm. you know, to uh, lambast all politicians you know, uh, put them in one basket, mm. uh, create credibility crisis for them, mm. and stand out as the only people who know 
uh, uh, how well are they, are the this country should the be administered. And, 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 unfortunately, are, are the politicians the people who unfortunately, bring this unfortunately, 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 you see, the best way, in my view, to do this, Johnny, is for us to, if we think that partisan politics mm. has not served us mm. well mm. enough, is to take hold of the local level, you know, governance mm. as it exists now, mm put ourselves up as assembly members, go to the assembly, mm. even if the president appoints the DCE, you, as people committed mm. to no political party but to Ghana, mm. can take charge of the assemblies mm. and form the committees, the education committees, mm. the security committees, the health committees, and make sure that whoever the president appoints as DCE mm. Mm. works according to your dictates at that local level. But if you sit on radio, if you write articles, mm. and you get too, too busy, you know, managing your business and managing your children, and you just shout that we should not make it partisan, and, and sit aloof and do nothing, mm. the, part, the politicians, despite the law, because it is the highest political, make, uh, 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 I mean, Mr. authority, Shibiki, yeah. you know, at that level, will hijack it, let whether me, let, they are allowed to by law or not. Let, they will. Let, let me ask you so what. So if, if you what, do not participate, mm -hmm. Johnny, mm -hmm. and, and take hold of it, mm -hmm. and just succeed in, in, in leaving the law as it is, mm -hmm. the politicians will continue to pretend as okay. we do. What, what? Like, like, like Major has told you, recruit people. Look, Look at the posters that are that right. are that the, the are, colors are clear. The colors tell you Indicative. which political party they belong to. Indicative. Yes, the colors tell you which political so party they belong to. Say no. So you see, if I am saying that, I am saying that we either formalize it or those people mm. who are say in the middle class and you know uh, 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 position themselves mm. as non-partisan or apolitical must go to the assemblies, but go to the local level, okay. and take charge can, of can it. I, can I ask you a quick, you, I, 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 quick, I, I, quick one? Yeah. You, you and I know that the nature of how we do our politics, mm. the insults, yeah. uh, the maligning, mm -hmm. will not entice people to ordinarily leave their private space and go into public service. Agreed. And so we all ought to rethink how we conduct politics in this country. We're talking about the local party. No, of course, at Let all levels. Go take it. At all levels, mm. because yeah. look, it doesn't end at the national level. Happens at the local level as well. Okay, you Fantastic. have some and small is, fortune, and that, and that is, and that is, and you, that you is know, so, and 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 and, and, and you I'll, I'll, acquire I'll, I'll, something. Sorry, go on. Well, you take a certain act action, and all sorts of meanings. <laughs> <laughs> are read into it. Don't, don't the politicians all, all bring this upon names. themselves? You say, no, no, that's I absolutely yeah. agree. So I'm saying that we all collectively should begin to rethink. Mm. Because as far as I'm concerned, partisan political activity is not bad nor wrong. So in it, can we, how can we conduct it? So in it, can we all the get insults, in there? And I'm asking this the question. The name calling. I'm asking the false, this question. False accusations. I'm asking so this question. Gonna, so, so you, you're, 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 you're being very passionate, Bobo. Yeah, of course. It's, it's, I mean, <laughs> as if, as if. This is in your heart. If you are the receiving end, <laughs> you understand? Yeah, and Sometimes you wonder, really, so, what's the point? Somebody just yeah. sends me a message and says that, uh, you, good morning, uh, MP for Second D has admitted sponsoring of candidates by parties of the assembly level is unconstitutional. So it means amending it will make a wrong right. By this logic, can we vote to make any illegality and unconstitutionality right at the mess I is asking? But so let me let me put this question to you. You can only treat the issues on a case by case basis. Right. Let, let me let me ask you this question. Can we all get in there, number one? And I'm asking this question because if you look at the local government law or act, it creates the avenue for, for example, assemblymen or women unit committee members to regularly engage with the people over whom they are they are leaders mm. okay so they're supposed to have fora they're supposed to have town hall meetings the dc itself is supposed to have it you mps are supposed to be ex-official members of of the of the of the body and the local authority and all that those things do not really happen why well i don't know but you have to tell me you are an mp mm. so you must tell me if you attend 
the meetings of your district assembly, for example, you must tell me if your assemblymen have, for example, come to you to say, oh, honorable, uh, we have done one forum in first quarter, but we can't do the second one because we don't have funding. Can you support us? You must tell me. And, so then, tell and, then, and then my question on the basis of this scenario will be, have we deliberately taken the oxygen off this law to make it look as if it is not functional for us to be able to run our own partisan thing on the ground and say, let's now legitimize it? We are talking notion. That's why. We are? We are. You see... Um, beautiful law. Yeah. Beautiful law. Beautiful structure. Beautiful law, and we are still talking to defend it. We are still talking to defend it. Instead of taking action. You see, Johnny, maybe the fora that you talked about mm -hmm. in our various uh, electoral, electoral areas, areas right. don't happen because of the caliber of people who put themselves up for election. Really? And because of the people who elect them. Because if you put up even someone who is credible mm -hmm. and someone who understands the law and somebody who wants to do right, and you vote him or her to the assembly, and as a citizen of the electoral area, mm -hmm. you don't care. All you care about is how you get up in the morning prepare your children to mm. go to school and go mm. to your workplace. You don't really care about what happens in the community. Mm. You, do, you never visit the assembly. Mm. When they have meetings, you don't attend. When they call forums, you don't attend. Mm. You know, you only wait for election time. That is if you care to vote. Mm. Then you go and vote. Yet, you are allowed in saying that the law must be maintained. Yes, the law is beautiful, but the law itself will not work unless we make it work. Who is, and, who is supposed to? There are people in power. There are people Johnny, in authority. Johnny, Johnny no. no the, 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 you see, the assembly, the, the, the local, if you look at the constitution, mm. the local assembly in the form that it is structured. Mm, it's independent. Will work better if you have active citizens. Well, but you see, if you have a DC who is the boss of all the electoral areas within mm. within the district, mm. and you are not getting situational reports from a certain assembly you demand member, it. Or you, you, you should demand it. You demand it as a, as, but as a community. Do they demand it? Do you demand it? I demand it. How many of you in your community well, do that? Well, my, my, my MC, for example, doesn't care. I don't know the last time. I saw him in my community. Have you, have, you, have you organized your community members to go and find out when was the last time the, community, see, the assembly had a I, meeting? I, Where are the reports? I, I what have, are they doing have, with the common fund that I comes I have the them? privilege of media and the contacts yes. of these people. Yes. So, so, you, you, make can, a phone, are, you, so you make a phone yes. call. Yes. But the response from the other side and even the lack of willingness of the assembly members mm -hmm. to do it because one, they say they are not paid. And two, they say they don't have the funds because each time they organize a meeting, people are expecting to be refreshed. So and I they don't have the I, money to, be, to refresh. No, but you see, <laughs> as a community, it's just like, it's just like the, the, the PTA system. Right. You see the way the assembly structure is. Mm. It's like the PTA system, where you have you know, a school with an active and vibrant PTA mm. gets a lot of things done outside even the, uh, what do you call it, the GES uh, support. Right. If you have an active PTA, mm. you get things done for your school. It is the same, it is it, it, not the same, it is a similar structure mm. when it comes to the way the assembly is supposed mm. to work. So I am saying that if we had very active citizens mm. who just don't talk. What would make the citizens active? Look, what I'm saying is that look at the constitution, look at what your assembly is supposed to do, look mm. at how the structures are, and take an interest, not mm. just in elections but also in how the assembly is run. So you know, for example, that every quarter, mm. you know, funds are supposed to be released to the assembly, mm. and the assembly has committees, the education committee, the health committee, the security committee. Mm. Take an interest in who and who are part of these committees. Mm. Now take an interest in uh, 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 the, the, the funds. Have they been released to the assembly? Mm. If they haven't been released, how do you take uh, uh, the issue to say the member of parliament to uh, the to the to the I, to the to the executive. I, I, I pay my property rate. I pay my business operation permit. I pay my levies. I pay my bills, and I'm not seeing the results. You expect me to be talking talking about what? No, don't talk. Go and find out where are the results. Mm. Bobo, active let, citizenship. Let, let me ask you this uh, on active citizenship. We also know that people would use the local assembly elections as a springboard. They start as assemblyman. 
uh, the entire unit committee small before you know they are contesting for MP ship or maybe they are lobbying to become DCs or MMT and then they become MP and then they rise and they become a minister and then they tell you oh, he's gone through the mill but he has nothing to show for going through the mill. His people are not liberated as much as he is. What do you say? Well, I mean, it's not bad for people to go through the mill, you know, and, and, and so uh, uh, people's aspirations uh, necessarily uh, within a democratic environment mm -hmm. ought to be encouraged, you know. But I have my own views about how local governance is run. Mm -hmm. Because I live in Chadu, uh, pretty upscale neighborhood, right. if you ask me. Mm. <clears throat> How much is the property rate? How much is it? The, ev the valuation that's done on the Absolutely. property itself is, is questionable. I, I have said, for mm. instance, that I don't see why AMA, which has the airport residential areas, the East Legons. Oh, that's, that's not AMA. That would be Ladma. Until, until very recently yes. when... The there's Ladma, were. there's Lekma, which, which, there's Lamba. Whichever of them mm. should still depend on common fund. We ought to be able to generate requisite... Right. You right. know, uh, uh, taxes and levies from right. our communities. I agree. If you, if you go to the, you see? the, to the, to the uh, Teshi area, there's La Palm, there's... Uh, 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 Sanitation All of this. is the responsibility of the assemblies. True. They are not collecting sufficient revenue to clean the streets. Mm -hmm. They're depending on central government releases. Mm -hmm. The central government them. keeps giving them money. And central government releases either are insufficient or don't come on time. So, is it surprising to you that we still have sanitation conditions around? But the law is there. Why are we not making I, the I, law work? That's what I'm asking. Agree. And, 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 and you see, it's a difficult one. Why? Because, Johnny, let some adventurous mayor mm. begin to enforce the law. Mm. Who play politics with it? Such that people are crying. Play politics, we'll jump in quickly and try and see how we can take advantage of the situation for our political gains. Okay. Happens. <sighs> Thank you very much. Chris, it's not right. It, is, it happens. It isn't right at all. So, Johnny, for me, my, my position is simple. I mean, um, if we do not want the law to change, mm. and in my view, in the way that it is packaged now, mm -hmm. a no vote is the best way to go right. but <laughs> we should we should we should we should also show our citizens that we want to take hold of the you know decision making <clears throat> at the local level I, okay. I and foresee, our interest should go beyond <laughs> just what going to vote for an assembly member be this afternoon <laughs> okay thank you very much <laughs> so, this is a personal <clears throat> view. we, we, we have okay. we have okay. explained okay. to you we have explained to you that the referendum is not what will make us vote the for our uh, MMDC. The, the referendum you know, essentially it will let it become partisan politically. But per it amendment of Article 243, you will be able That's to vote for a MMDC. So if you go out now, there, decide. If you vote a yes, means that you are voting for your MMDC or DC politically on party lines. If you vote a no, which means that you will vote for them anyway, but not on partisan political lines. Crystal, let's hear you. So, um, WhatsApp comments, we are voting no. If the powers that be want us to elect MMDCEs, let us amend Article 243 first. The December is too much. That's from Paul in Aflao. Good morning, TV3. Good morning, Honorable Ahasan Sweeney. You see, the MPP must give us a break. <coughs> must give us a break. Ghanaians must vote no. My name is Abdul Samed from Samed from Asawase. Olanyo in Akwetia says the referendum is all about development in our various societies, regardless of which party is in power. Let us go out and vote big yes to put agenda uh, ahead. 
Good morning, Johnny. You are right. The electing of MMDCEs will not help us. This will only bring the gridlock nationally to, to locally. Seriously, it, is, it will bring corruption from national level to local level. That's from Kweku in La Paz. Please, Johnny, let the education of the MCEs and DCE election go deep down because most of us don't really know the stand. Good morning, New Day. The referendum is going to divide the country on political and tribal basis, and that is not good for the country. That's from Adam uh, Bangsin. Hi, Johnny. I'm a bit confused as to vote yes or no, because the president says yes and you say no. So which is which? KB from Akimoda. I think the education has to go further. TP3, thank you very much for your information on the referendum. But I wonder if we have all the uh, institution known as, if we have an institution known as NCCE. They are not helping us at all. That's from Black Cark, uh, a.k.a. Corey from Krobo Dumase. Good morning, TV3. That's our last comment for the morning. When you vote yes and we elect an MCE on party, line and that MCE doesn't belong to the ruling party, it would be difficult for the MCE from different party to lobby for developments from a ruling party's local True. government minister. MPP should spare us with the amendments. That's from Brigadier General from So Manya. Hey, Brigadier hmm. General of which regiment? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Crystal. Now, the, let's pick a final bite on um, the Sino Hydro first tranches come in uh, at long last, someone will say. Bobo, what, what magic did you do to get the funds in uh, at long last, like someone would say? Well, I don't think that it required any magic. Mm. Um, we signed a master facility agreement, mm -hmm. uh, uh, subjected it to parliamentary scrutiny. It was approved, mm -hmm. uh, albeit the issues that were raised and the, the attempts by our friends to scuttle it. Mm. You, you recall the recourse to the IMF, uh, letters back and forth to try to get the IMF to torpedo the entire uh, arrangement, mm. which failed. Uh, subsequently, some first tranche of several lots mm. were presented to Parliament, which was also approved. Of course, you see, the, the whole Sino-Hydro transaction Mm -hmm. is this, that look, going forward, we have come to a determination that uh, God-given natural resources have not been exploited properly for the benefit of Ghanaians. Mm. And so how are we going to leverage on it, not grant leases to private individuals or companies to mine it and pay us royalties, mm. as has been the case with our gold, diamond, and most of our natural resource. The only chunk that mm. is remaining now is bauxite and iron ore. The CSO say, don't go and dig out the bauxite because you'll be ruining the Atiwa forest. Well, I'll deal with it, uh, but let me explain. All right. So rather than grant these leases, how are we going to leverage on that? to fund our development going forward. So His Excellency the President has introduced the bill to Parliament which has been passed into law, uh, setting up the uh, Bauxite Development Authority mm. and also the Iron and, iron and, uh, and Steel okay. Development Authority. These development authorities are intended to partner with private sector players mm -hmm. to, as it were, build an integrated aluminium and steel industry. Okay. That takes time. The process has commenced. It hasn't ended. But can we wait until all that is done, roads built, refineries built, mm. transportation systems put in place mm. to move the raw bauxite processed and transported for sale before we generate the revenue to fund our development? We can't wait. So what's our option? So now? we go into an arrangement with Sino Hydro. That look, this is what we intend to do with our development trajectory going forward. In the interim, can you give us roads that we have identified, costed a facility to construct, mm. develop, so that when we develop our uh, aluminium, integrated aluminium industry, we can give you 
the equivalent of how much you spent plus mm -hmm. your cost, which we have agreed mm -hmm. upfront. So the value addition yeah. will be done here? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And so, yes, they agreed. We signed the agreements. But of course, you expect that they would want to see that indeed steps are being taken mm -hmm. in respect of how the bauxite development is going mm -hmm. and, and all that. So it took some time for all the T's to be crossed, the I's dotted mm -hmm. and all that. And so, of course, they were also taking a facility on their own balance sheet, okay, to fund those <coughs> infrastructure that we had identified and had agreed with them mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and, and needed some assurance from Sinusio okay. to support the facility that they were taking. That has taken some time. The process is still ongoing. Mm. But some four lots under the tranche one mm. has been approved. And so that is being rolled out. But by the time they are done, we are done with this butter trade, uh, butter agreement of pro project financing, how much of a uh, box site, the raw box site will be left in the ground. Do we know? If we're getting two billion, you see, we are, we are, Sino Hydro is not give, being given any box site. Okay. Sino Hydro is going to be paid with processed box site. Okay. That's so, still box site. Yes, but then we are processing. We when we process, we're going to sell. But a short portion of that match, of course, uh, preliminary mm -hmm. estimates. Of I even unprocessed bauxite put it in excess of three four hundred billion, but I know that some verification has had to be done. Okay. Okay, to confirm the actual deposits that we have. Mm. Okay, and what if you compare to current market rates of alumina? Mm. Clearly, we can generate in excess of a trillion. Mm. Okay, that two billion really is going to be a drop in the ocean. But hey. by that time. Mm -hmm. Okay, we would have built the industry that would enable us fund our future mm. development from the process. The, the conversation that, that about the roads, activity. hospitals, schools, whatever it is that will be constructed brings the question of how the people of Obuasi, for example, uh, even though they sit on gold, they have fed the country, they have mined gold from there, have remained impoverished. If you go to Akotre, for example, Sometimes the street lights don't even work. The roads yeah, are bad I agree. and all of that. <laughs> you don't how, even have to how, go to how the, because I'm not familiar with the bossa, okay. but I know Takwa. Okay. I know Pristia. Okay. So but, the, the but, people who sit on the box sites that we are going to mine to take care of ourselves, have they been factored into this plan? For example, the roads that were listed in the Sino Hydro plan, were they factored into absolutely. it? Absolutely. Uh, because you, you need the roads to actually even move the bauxite away from those those sites. So they are they are part of your plan. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and 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 of course we and it's part of the learning that our previous arrangements with how our natural resources were exploited clearly didn't help this country. Compare Takwa to Johannesburg, and you see that as opposed to Joburg being prosperous, arising out of gold production, mm -hmm. Takwa Prisia. Uh, uh, Obuasi, Obuasi and the likes Akwetia. are rather impoverished in, in our part of the world. So going forward, we need to put in place a new development paradigm. Okay. So and, so, and so I, I, I think that yeah, this is a good policy. It's a good decision that government took. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, because it's within a political environment, uh, a lot of things were said. Even I hear my very good friend Edouard was on Asamba last week, mm. sometime in the week. Uh, indicating that he is thrown a challenge. And I recall I was in, in studio with him when he said that the Sino Hydro money will never come. Okay. But now we've seen signs that it's actually being dispersed. Okay. And the Vice President has indicated that, you know, additional work is being done uh, and that the expectation is that hopefully let, by March... Let's Suhini take the three minutes left. Suhini, so so step in for me. The money is finally here. Uh, so the fact that the money won't come is sticking out. The money is here. Bubu says this is the game changer and it will improve our lot and it will improve the lot of our people. What do you see? Johnny, has the money really come? But that's what we are reading, that the vice president has is that really, had a negotiation. Is that really what we are reading? And disbursement will be coming. Is that really what we are reading? You don't believe? Johnny, you see, I have 
repeatedly mm. talked about how, you know, the incompetence, the incapacity, and the cluelessness of this government <laughs> does, not, does, not, does not worry me as much as the dishonesty mm. with almost everything that they say and do. The dishonesty just, look, Johnny, the Finder newspaper, we all know where it belongs. Okay. You know, then China releases funding for first phase. Where does, where does the Finder belong? It's an MPP math piece, you know. Okay. Now, read the story, Johnny. And the only quote that is mm -hmm. attributed to Dr. Paumia, I'll share with you. Mm -hmm. It says, I want to thank you and the government of China okay. on our Sino Hydro facility. I'm happy that Sino Shore. China Export and Credit Insurance Corporation has approved the first lot of the phase one. We are happy with the progress. There was a time when people thought maybe it will not materialize, mm. but it has materialized, and we hope that the rest of the first phase will come through by March of 2020. Now, approving lots, mm. how, and we know the processes. How the, the process is that we develop some of the things we want to do. We send it to them. Okay. They approve it. Mm. How does approving of lots translate into releasing of funds? Is that not a step in the process? Is that step the releasing of funds? How many more are left? How many more steps are so left? So you should find out. I'm just saying. So you, you tell call, me you know the call process. Call is honest. Please, please. Let's let me allow him. Allow him. Allow him. Allow allow him. Allow him. Allow allow him. Allow allow him. Allow allow him. 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 The second tranche of two billion deal has been approved and set to be disbursed early next year. As if the first has been disbursed. Mm. And it's the same story. In but fact, it says that the second, the second uh, uh, tranche of two billion loan deal has been approved and set to be disbursed early next year. Now, first of all, the finder is telling us that, that from the same, and they are also using the same quotation. Okay. From the same quotation, the finder says the first tranche has been released. Maybe one Meanwhile, way to when the... you read that quotation, mm. it does not talk about releasing. It talks about approval of lots. Then, the, from that same quotation, mm. the Daily Guide says the second tranche, ha second tranche has been approved. But, but, uh, uh, what uh, level uh, of uh, Andre Jafar Besser says that, he, he says that, he, he says that look, on the grounds. I, I, he, you gave him all the time. Yes, and just a, 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 a says that on the grounds, the Chinese were hoping to see something. And so they were holding he onto knows. the cash. He now knows. they are seeing the signs, and so he knows. they are willing to. He release. knows that under the prevailing circumstances, it will be very, very difficult for the Chinese you see, to, release, allow, allow, allow him to, to release the funds. Mm. He knows because you see, Ghana is supposed to also meet certain conditions. Right. We are supposed to set up certain institutions. Conditions we are supposed precedent. to begin, you know, uh, 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 the, 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 the the bauxite mining and refining. They know that we have not done jack. In fact, a chunk of the area concerned is still a matter for litigation. So they, they, they are businessmen. They are not just going to begin to release you know, funding to us without all these assurances you know, given them. So I will be very happy if it is released. I mean, it's going to improve our infrastructure. And we are a party of infrastructure when it comes to actually developing the the brick and mortar of this country that mm. that that contributes to the gdp and economic mm. growth it is mm. the ndc so i'll be very happy if the money comes to improve our infrastructure okay. because no world i mean no country in this world ever okay. developed without putting its infrastructure infrastructure right mm. but if it is not coming you should not be dishonest and and propagandize about it. Let us all know what we are faced with. Mm -hmm. And if there are things that we can all collaborate to ensure that our government gets right so that we get the needed money, we do. And that is why as a minority, mm -hmm. when we raise concerns with the arrangement and described it as a loan instead of a batter, mm -hmm. which they disagree with, which eventually the World Bank has come to agree with us that indeed it is a loan. Mm. You see, we were not doing that because we when did not the want... World Bank agree with you? You, you wait for the, 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 the latest report. Oh, wait. that hasn't come yet. No, look at it. 
I'm telling you that I'm telling you that at the finance committee, all these issues came up. And 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 the World Bank agreed. You think we the government is hiding anything from us? Is the government hiding anything from us? That is why I would have loved to dis discuss eh? our press conference my that we held yesterday, okay. the pre-budget briefing. That we highlighted that all these things. That you go mm. We highlighted all these things that they have been uh, 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 doing, trying to, okay. to to deceive the people of Ghana Johnny, about the true state of our economy. But you see, the true state of the economy is lived in Lila The true state of the economy is lived at Agbogboloshi. The true state of the economy is lived at Ashama. The true state of the economy is lived at the New Plan Station. The true state of the economy is lived at, the, you know, the, gov the government says the indicators the are looking right. of the economy is lived in our homes. When we have to meet our landlords, when we have to pay our the, the indications are right. It's where the true state of the economy anyway, is. The, the, government, the, the, government, the government set a target of 7.6 for itself for GDP. We, it did 6.7. We all these were rosy when you were in government. You see, and again, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, please. No, he please, a question. Please, Let me please, him. please. It's a rhetorical yeah, question. Please, please, please. Please. No, sir, you start, no oh, it's not Johnny, about you. Time is it? It, it is my time. He the time is up, number. actually. You so, see, Johnny, Johnny, <laughs> my simple response Johnny, to the NDC, yeah. Johnny, with respect to the Zaino Hydro, you talked about that they wish it doesn't happen. You did it. Like pregnancy. Can we have one at a time? The Zaino Hydro is happening. It's happening. It's going to happen. Okay, thank you. I asked a question about GDP. You are not happy with the achievements. I'm saying that you seven point six targets. They did six point seven. Thanks to the NPP again, mm. because when Ghana achieved the highest, you know, GDP growth in twenty eleven, which was about fourteen percent, because they did not want to give the credit to the NDC, their propagandists went to town and decided to segregate our GDP growth into oil growth right. and, and then real you know real mm. real, real growth. growth. And so thanks to them, that standard still applies. Okay. And Johnny, I'm saying if you have six point uh, whatever seven, GDP, yeah. six point seven GDP growth, what is the oil growth? And what did you do in the oil growth but to account for that? But you had oil and the rest, and you still run this did you economy do? down. No, you I am not. saying that. What did you do and in what that did you oil growth? Okay. In the four years, Nothing. zero. Thank you. Oil. Zero. We have closed. And yet you claim we have, we have closed. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To the honourable... <laughs> Thank, Thank you to the Honourable Alassane Suhini. He's the Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency. And he is in it for the second time. To, to get in there. And also to Honorable Andrew Ejapa Mesa, he's a member of parliament for the uh, second D constituency. His primaries are yet to be held, but I'm sure he has an eye for a second, a second time, uh, another time. Your primaries are yet to be held. Yes. But, but you will go again. Yes. Okay. Well, your yes is, is not deep. Very, very much so. Put in He's scaring inside. some people not to come. You want, you want to scare them. That, that will not intimidate anybody. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. And I wish you all the best. Enjoy your Tuesday morning.